Hello, what's up guys? Today we've simulated two different outcomes for the Walker vs. Ankalib matchup. Hit subscribe, ring the bell, comment your predictions below, and watch till the end to see both thrilling endings. Peace out. So far, so good in the octagon for the Brazilian light heavyweight contender. Johnny Walker gets a step up in competition here tonight. Yes, and he has stepped up to every person that he's fought, and he's not, he's dominated them. Now, the only adversity he had is hurting himself, finishing a fight, right, doing right, his celebratory right. worm. I said, Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker. You got to find a different way to celebrate, my friend. Yeah, dislocated his shoulder after the Misha Serkunov fight. That was another first-round finish for Johnny Walker. Has a great frame, great length for this light heavyweight division. And we'll see how it goes for Johnny Walker Blue here tonight. but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 28. Walker is three inches taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mekhakala, Russia, Magomed Agalov! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break out. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice tie. scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Nice, Henry, nice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Johnny Walker. Collar tie. All right, so volume uppercuts here on the clinch. That one looked like it really hurt. Better make some adjustments here. Got to make some adjustments. You cannot take those shots to the head like that. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That knee might have landed there. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Under a minute to go. And what is that? Is it? That'll do it. He's done. He's done. Absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Johnny Walker! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Single collar tie there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, big knee. Oh, big punch lands. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Right hand upstairs. All right, some real... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. So just over 20 total strikes have already connected for Johnny Walker. Nice strike. Oh, nice. Oh, big head kick land. Single collar tie here. Right hand punch for the clinch. 
DC, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Visibly limping here. Beautiful punch. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Another shot lands upstairs. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Five minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Pretty good right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, crippling uppercut. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice. All right, single call. Oh, big knee. Oh, big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Missed with that right, right hand. Right hand. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. See, now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! 
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's gonna try to attack a Kimura here. Now, now he falls back into the finishing position. Really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get We're him. going at it now. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mogamed Ekelon! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.